so you want to be Jabba Jabba's belly in the Ocarina of Time? Well, you've come to the right place. Let me show you that. Step one is to get your shotgun and shoot down this fucking owl. But no, you want to get the Zora Sapphire. You want to become engaged with Princess Rudo. Don't worry. I will show you how to get it done. Make sure you have bombs. Y you do need bombs from the uh, the previous dungeon, the the Dongo's Cavern, to get past this wall. You can also get a golden scatola here. That's awesome. The first thing you have to do is navigate Zor's River to get to Zor's Domain. Zor's River is located right here. Here are the key spots to make your way up Zor's River. I feel like when I was a kid, it was much more complex to make your way up this river. Nowadays, it feels like it's just a path to follow, and if you can't follow it, then you're just not a good fallen pass. It's that simple. Uh, in order to gain access to Zora's Domain, you have to play Zelda's Lullaby, like so. <sighs> Playing the Ocarina on the Wii U controller makes me always nervous. Are you a fan of synchronized diving, one of the best sports in the Olympics? If so, I feel bad for you. You gotta do some diving though in this game because for 20 rubies, you jump over the ledge, you try to get the rubies back, and if you do, you get the silver scale. That allows you to stay underwater for a longer period of time. Have no fear, and the rubies is pretty simple. They all land in the same exact spot. And also, if you are successful, you end up with more money as they throw 25 rubies down here, not 20. But actually, you know what? You, you basically play this game, you get a silver scale out of it, and you make money. I say that's a win-win. You see that little hole right there? Yeah, it's kind of like near where the shop is and all that stuff. Swim down and go through this area. You're going to be taken to Lake Hylia. How do you transport down there that quickly? Magic. Magic, don't question it. You actually get a useful item here in the bottle. This bottle is the only time you're forced to get one in the game. You will get a message from Princess Rudo. This is also one of the collectible empty bottles in the game. That is one of the fattest kings I've ever seen. You feel like he can actually move a little bit more, get some exercise, he lives in a place where he can swim all day long, that's a great way to burn calories. Uh, but yeah, you gotta give him the letter in the bottle and let him know that his daughter is stuck with inside a giant fish. Sorry man, your daughter's going to the right places, she met the wrong people. Sucks to suck. Proud of me and Jabba Jabu, you have to do a fun pastime in fishing. Fortunately, it's not as hard as the Ocarina of Time. You just have to, you know, swipe your bottle in the water a few times, and you'll hopefully get a fish. Morning, sleepyhead. I got some good food for you. You might as well enjoy it. Fresh fish. Just how you like it. If you do this properly, he's gonna gobble you up as well, and Link will get ingested into this poor guy's mouth. Have fun in the next dungeon there, Link. You ever had that really nagging girl you just really don't want to hang out with? Well, I have good news for you. She is right over here. Are they going to show her? There, there we go. Princess Rudo. Ah, biggest mistake in our life is meeting her. Hey, Princess, have a nice trip. See you next fall. Talking with her. It makes me want to glue my ears shut. I don't know if there's a thing as ear cancer, but I've probably gone to talk to her this long. Hey, princess, better watch out. Oof. Oh, that hurt. Oof. Oh, boy. We're taking a lick in there, princess. Hope you're alright. I really, really do. I really, really do care for you. I don't get it. Why is one of the main enemies in this dungeon a freaking bubble? When have they ever been deadly? Once you've returned the princess back up to this room, you can actually go forward in the dungeon. Go to the far side, ow, that hurt. Go to the far side and you're going to be able to go into a whole bunch of different rooms and get a whole bunch of different goodies. If Princess Rudo has to fart, we're in a lot of trouble, Link. If you go into the room on the far right, you'll be able to face these enemies, just use your slingshot on them. These stingrays took out the crocodile hunter, we're not going to face the same fate. R.I.P. Steve. R.I.P. Once you defeat all of them, you get a chest with the boomerang in it. That is the dungeon item in Jabba Jabu's belly. It is one of the best items you can get as Child Link. 
it is very much needed to progress through the dungeon. So from here on out, now you have to go to the left door and that will take you to a room with this red tentacle-like thing. You're going to be facing a whole bunch of these. There's a red one, a blue one, and a green one. Use your boomerang, make it go owie, do that four times, and you'll have defeated... This thing's a real pain in the neck. But when you defeat each tentacle, there's going to be a counterpart tentacle, as you see here, it's now disappeared. Later in the dungeon, doing all this allows you to get to the mini-boss. While you're also over this side of the dungeon, you can get yourself the dungeon map and the compass. They're just amongst the different rooms in this side of the, you know, in this side of the area. Big tip to beat these things too, walk close to lure them out, and then they're going to be easily exposed. As soon as they start dropping down, that's when you throw the boomerang to kill them. At times, they kill themselves. If you turn to the room in which you met Princess Rudo, you'll notice that over here in the ow, you'll notice that over here in the corner, this tentacle is gone. You can drop down and get to the higher ledge. In doing so, you can make your way over to this room. This is where you're gonna face the mini boss, Big Octo. And the best news of all, check this out. That's right, she's getting kidnapped. Don't have to deal with her anymore. Big Octo can be a little bit of a pain. If you use the boomerang, you do stun him. That is the key to victory. Behind him is a, uh, you know, a big green spot that will stun him. Just use the boomerang a few times. A little jump attack with the Deca stick, and he's dead. That was harder than I remember. I mean, that was easier than I remember. Okay, just do what I just did there, and you'll kill him in five seconds. No joke. If you continue down the path a little bit more, you're gonna end up back in one of the first rooms of the dungeon. Take this little elevator down to allow you access to this new part of the dungeon. This will be the room right before the boss. This room is rather simple. All you have to do is hit this one switch over here. Please hit it. There we go. You do so have to climb up to the ledge to go and hit it, and it'll open up the door to the boss. Now, this next boss is named Baronade, and he likes to use electricity. So hit it. This is the first time you're going to have a boss with multiple phases in it. The first one, you see there's those three tentacles that kind of are in the ceiling. You have to you have to make sure your Z-target's on game right now, because if it's not, you get electrocuted. But no, if you hit each of those kind of tentacles, keeping that's holding him onto the ceiling, you will be able to free him up, you'll be able to stun him, and you'll be able to take all, you'll be able to stun Will anything go right right now? You can go to the second phase where you can stun him. Yeah, j just do that. Just ignore what I'm saying. Just do that. Phase number three, you can stun him. He will sink him further to the ground, though. So what you're going to have to do is then kill all his jellyfish. That's being a real cocksucker. All right. That was a bigger pain in the ass than I expected. Now what you have to do is use your sword, or first you stun him with the boomerang, then you use your sword to beat the crap out of him. And then you run away before he electrocutes you. He is really good at missing. Why was he not like, I mean before he was excellent at it, I, I, I don't know what happened. That is jellyfish that's got useless I guess. Ah, that is more like it. When you have defeated this guy, you will have defeated Jabu Jabu's belly. You're going to get yourself the Zora Sapphire, it's probably going to be your third spiritual stone. You'll be doing just fine in Ocarina of Time. Don't do what I did that fight, though. Don't get your ass kicked by him. He's not that tough. She's mad at me. This could be it for me. Never anger the woman, guys.